1956, Remington Rand introduced the UNIVAC 1103A scientific computer. The 1103A was a large-scale, high-speed, parallel, binary computer. It incorporated technological improvements over the previous ERA 1103 of 1953. The 1103A was known as the UNIVAC Scientific Computer. One of the most powerful scientific computers of its time, the origin of the 1103 and its predecessors begins with a company called Engineering Research Associates, or ERA, in St. Paul, Minnesota. ERA was formed in 1946 to provide top-secret post-war cryptologic equipment for the U.S. government. It became the new home for many experts from the U.S. Navy's Signals Intelligence and Cryptanalysis Group, which had been highly active during World War II. Post-war political tensions increased the need for highly complex cryptologic machines to capture and interpret foreign intelligence. To help meet this need, in 1947 the Navy awarded ERA a top-secret contract to develop a high-speed computer. Known as Task 13, the code name for the computer was ATLAS. The ERA team developed the ATLAS in secret and delivered it to the Navy's Bureau of Ships in 1950. The Atlas computer used large magnetic drum storage and 2,000 vacuum tubes designed in pluggable logic units, each containing 20 tubes. After it proved successful, ERA obtained the Navy's approval to create a commercial version, which became the ERA-1101. 1101 is binary notation for the number 13, which reflected Task 13 the Navy's original contract. ERA's success with the 1101 led to the development of the ERA Model 1102 for the U.S. Air Force's Arnold Engineering Development Center in Tennessee. Three ERA-1102 machines were developed to provide calculations for data reduction for two wind tunnels and an engine test facility. The 1102 contained 2,700 tubes, 3,000 diodes, and 700 relays. Task 29 and the ERA-1103 The development of the ERA-1103 was known as Task 29. It was a major development project during the 1951 to 1953 period. Nearly 30 ERA engineering staff were assigned to Task 29 at one time or another. In 1952, Remington Rand acquired ERA, bringing additional needed funding. Remington had just released the UNIVAC-1 general purpose business computer the prior year. ERA brought the technology of the 1103 product line as well as other ongoing government contracts. At the time, however, Remington Rand executives did not know the full extent of the ERA's secret government projects, since it lacked the required security clearances that ERA had already obtained. For marketing purposes, the ERA-1103 became the UNIVAC-1103. The prototype UNIVAC-1103 was delivered to the Navy's Bureau of Ships in September 1953. Early models used electrostatic memory CRTs, known as Williams tubes. Thirty-nine hundred vacuum tubes and five thousand diodes were also used. Vacuum tube burnouts. All of the machines described here used thousands of tubes. The pluggable units helped with maintenance and diagnostics. However, burnout was an ongoing problem. Engineers learned that running the tubes at slightly reduced voltages extended their lifespan, and running custom test routines to detect potential failures also helped reduce total downtime.
At least 10 of the Model 1103 machines were made until production was halted in favor of the upgraded 1103A machine. The Univac 1103A The 1103A was built to meet the growing needs for high-speed computation and memory access required by government agencies and large institutions. The 1103A could perform 50,000 mathematical operations per second. The basic 1103A system used over 3,900 vacuum tubes, plus an additional 470 tubes in each memory expansion cabinet. A large installation could have nearly 5,000 tubes in total. A major improvement in the 1103A was the use of magnetic core memory, which replaced the less reliable electrostatic memory. The machine and its peripheral devices required between 1,000 and 2,000 square feet of floor space. It used punched paper tape for input and output, as well as magnetic tape. Up to 10 Univac Uniservo tape drives could be connected. The machine could communicate with other machines via teletype communication circuits and other devices. A special feature was the hardware interrupt option which allowed the operator to stop a running program and then restart it without loss of data or reprogramming. Early 1103A installation sites included Lockheed Aircraft Company Missile Systems Division in California, White Sands Missile Range in New Mexico, Wright Air Development Center in Ohio, the Operations Research Office at John Hopkins in Maryland, the Numerical Analysis Center, at the University of Minnesota, and other locations both public and classified. The UNIVAC Scientific was a very powerful and reliable tool during the Cold War. Among its many other top-secret applications, it was used for simulation of surface-to-air missile systems and large-scale war game simulations. At least one UNIVAC Scientific computer installed at NORAD was not decommissioned until June of 1974 during a technology upgrade. The system cost over $950,000 in 1956, which is over $8.4 million today. Early UNIVAC computers were highly desired by various government agencies due to their computational power and reliability. Concurrent Activities this chart shows some of the numerous concurrent activities taking place during the 1946 to 1956 time period. It reflects talent and productivity of the ERA and UNIVAC engineers and staff. ERA, founded in January 1946, continued work on classified government systems while beginning the Task 13 Atlas project. Before completion of the Atlas I, the Navy asked ERA to also begin designing a more powerful machine, using both electrostatic and drum memory. This project was called Task 29, and the computer was to be called Atlas II. While the Atlas II project was underway, ERA also began work on the 1102 for the Air Force. During the Task 29 project, ERA was acquired by Remington Rand. And before the 1103A was delivered, Remington was acquired by Sperry Corporation. UNIVAC 1104 In December 1953, development was begun on a new machine called the UNIVAC 1104 Control Computer. The 1104 was not a replacement for the 1103A, but rather a limited production machine designed specifically for Bomark missile guidance. Logically similar to the 1103, the 1104 machine contains specialized equipment tailored to Air Force specifications. Model 1104 computers were developed for Westinghouse and installed at Patrick Air Force Base in 1956 and at Elgin Air Force Base, Florida, in 1958. UNIVAC 1105 in 1958, UNIVAC announced the 1105 as a successor to the 1103A. It was designed for both scientific and commercial applications, 
including satellite tracking and trajectory calculations, linear programming, logistics, inventory control, and census calculations. Over 60 feet long, weighing 19 tons, and using 7,200 vacuum tubes, a full system cost well over $2 million in 1959, equivalent to over $18 million today. Two of the first 1105s were delivered to the U.S. Census Bureau. At least five were installed for the U.S. Air Force. About 10 were produced in total. Although our discussion of the 1103A line ends here, Sperry Univac continued to produce a wide variety of computing products for military and commercial use. In 1986, Burroughs Corporation acquired Sperry and formed Unisys. Today, Unisys is a global information technology company. It retains legacy ownership of the Univac product names, 